both. Show me which one of you is going to be a gentleman. Show me. Show me which one of you is going to be a gentleman. On today's episode of How Fucked Up Is Fucked Up. That's fucked up. You're a bad driver. You're a bad driver. You a goofy. You're fat. You're a goofy. And you're fat. The doubles were supposed to be two different scoops. And that's what we paid for. No, we do pay for the please. Sir, you got to give me the correct ice cream right now. This is the please. You pay for the please. Sir, I want to talk to the manager. Sir, I want to talk to the manager. I'm not dealing with this anymore. You need to just get me the correct order now. We ordered three doubles. The third were two separate scoops. One toasted almond, one mocha fudge. So it's a double? A separate scoop? Correct. So one almond and one mocha fudge? Correct. You want it in a separate place, right? No. Okay. Don't you do a double scoop where there are two different flavors? Yes. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you. Thank you so much. Close the corner, then... Get away from my house and close my door. Close my door. And what's your name? None of your business. Okay, but yeah, you come up here bamming on my door, waking me up, waking my child up, and now you won't leave. Call the police. Call them. Okay. I don't give a damn. Okay. Stay in there film with your little camera. He's I will. just as bad as you are. <laughs> Lady, you don't know my child. My child minds his business your child just as acts I do. like you. How do you know my child when he barely even leaves the house? Who are you, lady? <laughs> Who are you? I would really love to know. Both, show me which one of you is going to be a gentleman. Show me. Show me which one of you is going to be a gentleman. Show me. Are there no gentlemen left in this? Are there no ladies left in this world? Move out of the way. No, don't touch me. <laughs> move. I have a right not to be touched. And you have the space to move. Get out of the way. Which one are you going to be a gentleman? Which one are you going to be a Story time. Walks in store. Your store and window is offensive. You literally don't have to shop here. I shouldn't have to see that in my town. Close your eyes. I'm reporting you. Okay. Ma'am, I'm right here. Are you going to get off the aircraft or are you going to sit there and scream? I'm just asking. Because it's, it's going to be your I got to pee. So go I got to get off of here. Ma'am, I'm trying to... This is unreal. I need to speak to your manager. Oh, okay. Hey, Fabricio. Eh, que paso? Oh my God, are you serious? This woman would like to talk to you about her nachos. Ah, la mujer de otra semana? Yeah. Well, is English gonna be a problem? No, I know English, what do you need? Y'all obviously don't know how nachos are served and I've had to send it back twice. These nachos look fine to me. This is how we serve our nachos. No, but when I order cheese... So you did order cheese nachos, yes? Yeah, I want... This is how we prepare our cheese nachos. We gave you cheese nachos. Have a good day. Oh, so I guess the customer isn't always right. Where do you think you are? What? Do you think that this is your restaurant? You think that you decide our dishes here? You call the shots here? Well, no, but I think I... Because it is not your restaurant. It is my restaurant. This is how I serve nachos. I give them to you this way. If you knew you didn't like them the first time, why did you come back? And you just step back outside. And I 
would like to receive yeah. those. You're holding up my process. I have to get out of here. I'm not. He is. He's choosing to do that. We cannot help you. Shut down your phone. We cannot help you. I'm not shutting down my phone. Man, we cannot help you until this is a private residence, and actually, I am restricting your recording, and so therefore, you are not allowed to do this. I am actually. This is nobody's residence. It isn't? No, oh, apparently because I had three packages delivered here. Where's your mask? We will, we will help, help you in just a minute, 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 My mask? I'm not a conformer. Why are you wearing one? Because I feel like Why are you wearing one? Because I'm protecting everyone else. I've already had COVID back on December 20th, 2019. Can you go so we can finish? Huh? Can you go so we can finish? Can you finish? I can't because you're holding up everybody. Is she the manager? Who's the manager? No one's going to help you until you step back outside. Who is the manager? Who is the manager? Who's the manager? No one's going to help you until you step back outside. Who is the manager? Who is? You are. Why didn't you just say that? So step back outside. Why didn't you just say that? Where are my packages? Because you are not. Where are my packages? Who were delivered here? Ma am, ma am. Several days ago, five days ago. I will come out and help you if you just step back outside, okay. so we can, Go ahead. so we can. Take care of her. No, Go ahead. step outside. Hi. You will not be helped Hi. until you step outside. Thank you. Help. No one, no one's helping you until you step outside. If you want to break our social distancing rules, you are not I'm going to be helped. This is already six feet apart, dude. No, you're not. No, you're yes, not. Step back outside. This Please. is six feet apart. At the end of the day, and man, we're we wearing masks. Only have three people in you're the not store wearing masks. You are the fourth person to walk in. You're conformers. I'm sorry you established okay, well, like that. But regardless of that, man, we still need you to step back outside. I have packages we here that were delivered to me. So this is my right. This is my private property. give them to you. This is my right. How can you criminally trespass somebody or block somebody from criminally trespassing? Let me explain it to you, okay? Okay. But my business and my packages are sent here. So, business. Yes? And they have the right to decide whether they're going to do business with you or not. Okay. So, they decide they don't so if my aunt something from Kentucky or from Kansas or Missouri here and this is allegedly allegedly my address and I come to pick it up because I have a apartment number or something is one two three and it doesn't exist or it doesn't get delivered to my house so what is that I'm trying to determine that's what I'm trying to straighten out right now. Do we need to stop the, the packages? Why, 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 why are you talking like that? Because I felt like it. But we have a child over you here. You shouldn't feel like that's it. That's all you've done is cuss, cuss, cuss. And right? I did. Yeah, you keep stop. your damn mouth open. Eat it, your damn okay. food. Okay, you, you, you cussing now, so clean you up. Eat your damn food. But we're not saying the F word every few Okay, minutes. but you said damn, that's the same thing as cussing. Yeah. We're asking you yeah, to you stop. Exactly. Okay, you damn it. It's the same thing. Exactly. So, you now you're you're so, you're so now you cussing. So now you cussing. Call him. Call him. Serious props to this manager because this Karen was chewing her a new one because it took over four minutes for her to get her food. So the manager's trying to explain to her the process and what's going on and asked her to leave several times. And this lady would not leave. She even threatened to call the cops and the lady is going right back at her to where finally the manager gets her to start to go. And as the lady leaves, the manager clapped her hands. So the lady slams on the brakes, starts screaming at the window. And the other worker had to stick her head back out and try to get her to leave. Literally, this is probably a 15 minute process where the manager comes back to the window to finally try to get her to leave. The lady refuses to leave until she gets to talk to the manager face to face. So they explain to her to go park over by the white lines and they'll call the police. And when the police get there, they can all talk peacefully. But until the police are there, they are not going to be speaking with her. And this lady is throwing a fit and sure enough, she ends up pulling over to the side and she's waiting. And you park like an idiot. You've been reported. Oh, I already reported you too, baby. Let's see. This girl is harassing me. So she's put my life at risk and my child's life at risk. You've been posted all over Temecula Talk. So have you. And I wonder. I put you on Facebook. I got 10,000 followers I wonder on if I was a black woman. A I wonder if I was a black woman. I got my way.
away. Get away from my car. Six feet. You better Six feet. back up. Six feet. You better back up. Oh I got up. some too. You I better back feet. up. I got some too. Somebody call 911 right now. Get away. Get away from my car. You're Six feet. Six feet. Six feet. Six feet. You're Six done. feet. Get away from You're my so car. Done. Help. Help. You're Help. So Six feet. Call 911. Six feet. Please call Get away from my car. Get away from my car. So she. Oh, she's so going down. Go on. Get away from my car. Help you? Yeah, I've been holding forever. I had to hang up and call again. You, you, I'm so sorry. We well, you need, to, you need to tell us. Me. You need to tell me you can't get the phone in, for God's sakes. <sighs> okay, I want a cheeseburger, a gluten free cheeseburger with ketchup only. That's all I want. Okay, can you repeat that? Oh my God. Ma'am? A gluten free cheeseburger with ketchup only. Is there a manager there? I am the manager, ma'am. Well, you're a p pitiful manager. I'm not pitiful. I, I... <laughs> okay, so you just want a cheeseburger with ketchup? I want a gluten-free <laughs> cheeseburger. I got it down. Do you want all the... I'm not going there, Holton. She's a... You can just forget it. Okay. My husband turned around for this. Wait till you see this. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I wonder which one. Okay, right here, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> no way. <laughs> so, which house? <laughs> so I walk into Starbucks this morning to get my brown morning potion, and there was this Karen looking like a whole Popeye's biscuit. And by that, I mean she looked dry and crusty. And she was arguing with the Starbucks barista about not wanting to wear a mask because of course she was. So I walked up to her and I said, excuse me, we are in the middle of a global Padme Amidala. So why don't you reach into your ugly handbag and grab what I assume is your ugly floral print mask and put it on. We have been dealing with this stupid virus for a year now because people like you would rather complain about the fact that you want the right to blow your nose juices all over everybody else instead of just putting on a stupid mask for five minutes to order your coffee. Well, she got real upset and stormed out, but uh, the Starbucks baristas liked me enough to give me a free coffee, so there's that. <laughs>